Ahead of a WRC weekend, there is a great sense of anticipation. There are a few nerves, but mostly there's the desire to get out onto the stages and challenge for victory. Here in Portugal, the opening stage of the event kicks off in Lisbon, a three-hour drive from the rally's base. Well worth it for the 40,000 spectators that have come out to welcome the WRC drivers. Proper kickstarts under sunny skies. Championship leaders Miko Hevenen and Yamo Leitinen start from first on the road, sweeping it clear for the drivers behind. But despite the disadvantage, they finish the day second overall. Fantastic start. I mean, yeah, the great start last night, posting the fastest time on the uh, Super Special. But uh, we really expected, to, to be honest, to lose quite a bit of time this morning. But uh, it certainly doesn't appear to be the case. Yari Mati Latvala and Mika Antela also had a strong day one, collecting three stage wins. As rivals Citroen slowed their drivers on the final stage to achieve good position for day two, Yari Mati's instruction was to put his foot to the floor, something he is more than happy to do. He ended the day in the lead, but it does mean he starts from first on the road tomorrow. I'm not afraid of that, and if we think about the fact that how Mika was do doing this morning, uh, he was doing very well, uh, he was not losing so much time at all. Do we have to remember the tyres are different, the cars are different than last year and that is making for me that the situation that the road is not cleaning as much as it used to be last year. So in that sense I'm not so worried to be first got on the road, I just need to... As Mika said to me in Sweden for the last two stages, remember you need to drive well. You don't need to drive rally, you need to drive well. So tomorrow it's you need to drive well and smooth. And it's gonna rain overnight. Yeah. <laughs> Is this fact, Mika? Is this from Mike you'll upstairs? See. You'll see, you'll see it in the morning. We were, we were leading. But, but take the umbrella with you tomorrow morning. Oh we were leading last year in, uh, in Rally Finland after Friday. We hope for the rain, we got a little bit of rain. And so we hope for the rain. And uh, as Mika said, take your umbrella with you, so we, we trust on that. All the forecasts indicate a dry day tomorrow. Do the Ford weather crews know something we don't? There was always a probability of it, but uh, like with most things with the weather, it's very changeable and anything can happen and usually does. This is just another example of the fickle nature of it. Mike's had his ups and downs over the years with weather reporting, <laughs> Malcolm. <laughs> <coughs> Would you say, you know, he's got a gold star now after this? <laughs> I think uh, he, he called it 100% right. But the smiles around the service park would be short-lived. Day two would be a tough one for the team. The battle was fierce between four drivers, Hirvonen, Latvala, Ogier and Loeb. And on the second stage of the day, Mikko and Yamo picked up a puncture. It dropped them down to fourth overall. Yari Matti and Mika fought valiantly from first on the road, but during the afternoon, a broken drive shaft meant they hemorrhaged time on the final two stages, dropping to third. To add insult to injury, Mika and Yamo suffered suspension failure on stage 13. It really was an unlucky stage for the team. They may be down on their luck, but as the team repairs Miko's car, he heads out to the cheering crowds to sign some autographs. This is what it feels like to be surrounded by fans screaming your name. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Miko. Can you turn around to take a picture, please? As day three gets underway, Yari Matti and Mika start from third and Mika and Yamo from fifth. Mika and Yamo move up to fourth position on the first stage but drop back to fifth after a drive shaft broke on the next test. They move back up to fourth, however, on the penultimate stage. 
Over 31 kilometres, it was Yari Matti who managed to take second quickest and seal two extra driver points and third position overall in Portugal. At the end of the rally, I'm, I'm finally finished in Portugal after big two accidents. And I said before the rally, if I'm top three, I'm happy. So we are here, I need to be happy, but of course, it looked even better at some point in this rally. Miko and Yamo came through to take fourth and still retain their lead in the Drivers' Championship. You know, for Yari Matti, it's great for him to be on the podium, and as you say, he has had three third places now, and that shows his consistency. Miko's had a good weekend as well. You know, we've had some problems with the car that we need to go off and iron out, so there's a lot of work to be done between now and the next round. They have been tough here in Portugal, but the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team continue to lead both championships. The WRC moves on to the next challenge.